Hello everyone, I am Abhishek from Cloudfront Technologies. So before we proceed, uh, we are going to wait for a few seconds so that uh, other attendees could join. Thank you. So, welcome once again. Uh, welcome to today's session, uh, which is on secure your services using multi-factor authentication if accessed from untrusted locations. So let's proceed. And uh, yeah, so before we proceed, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the recording of the session and the presentation will be available by uh, tomorrow on our website under news and events. Let's just proceed. So, uh, as you all may agree, that the businesses has uh, nowadays moved beyond the corporate perimeter, and the personals uh, has the flexibility to work from anywhere. But you also want your services to be accessed in a secure manner simultaneously. Uh, so, for that only, so in this webinar, we will be going to take a look at how we can ensure that the services accessed from untrusted locations are valid. If the login attempts are coming from untrusted locations, our two-factor authentication can be enforced. So uh, basically, uh, we are going to use the conditional access, which is a feature of Azure Active Directory, and uh, by the means of which you can control how authorized users can access your cloud applications. So in this uh, webinar, uh, we will see how to create a conditional access to enforce multi-factor authentication if the user is accessing services from the untrusted location, uh, which is of course outside of the company's network. So uh, first thing uh, to do is uh, we have to enable multi-factor authentication for that. So this is the first step and for multi-factor authentication, uh, MFA helps safeguard access to data and applications while maintaining uh, simplicity for users. It provides additional security by requiring, requiring a second form of authentication. So, uh, so first what we need to do is uh, we're going to enable multi-factor authentication for our users. So let's just move ahead. So uh, just quickly go to the admin center. And from the admin center, uh, you need to go to Azure Active Directory. then users and over here you have the uh, you know the multi-factor authentication option from where you can uh, enable the multi-factor uh, authentication for uh, each users so you can decide whether uh, for which users you can uh, you know we need to enable this uh, uh, policy so I just select a uh, few, few users from here and I'll enable the multi-factor authentication. It may take few seconds uh, for the uh, MFA to get enabled. So you see multi-factor authentication is now enabled for the selected accounts. So I'll just close this one 
and let's uh, just go to PPT once again. So uh, the first step was to enable the MFA, which is uh, which we've done already. Now uh, the prerequisites. So uh, for using this functionality of conditional access using Azure Active Directory, you need to require uh, uh, you need to have a Azure Active Directory Premium license for your users. Second, uh, you can create a security group and add the users you need to specify in the policy. So as I was specifying that, uh, you can uh, we can choose actually uh, for which users you want to uh, you want to have this MFA enabled when uh, they uh, uh, when they you know uh, try to access the services from the uh, untrusted location. So you can create a security group, add the members uh, into it, and then uh, you can just while creating the conditional access policy, you can just assign those uh, that group uh, in the policy. So I have already created a, a security uh, group. Let me show you. Uh, so conditional access multi-factor authentication. So I've already enabled a uh, security group and the members you can see over here. So uh, the second, uh, you, you need to do this uh, as well. And you need to uh, get your company's public static IP in CIDR format. So you can see the example over here. So in this format, you have to get your, uh, you can contact your network team to get this in detail. Uh, so, uh, you have to get your uh, this public static static IP so that uh, we can configure this public static IP uh, in multi-factor authentication trusted IPs uh, so that any uh, any services which is being accessed outside of this uh, public static IP will be consist considered as untrusted location or uh, unknown location and then uh, the users will uh, be asked for the multi-factor authentication So let's go ahead. So now uh, I'll just uh, show you the demo. Uh, the first uh, will be the, how we can configure MFA trusted IPs in Azure Active Directory. And the second one will be configuring the condition access policy in Azure Active Directory. So let's just go ahead. So uh, I've already enabled the multi-factor authentication. Now I'll just go to Azure Active Directory and then uh, conditional access. So you can see the conditional access. So first, uh, we need to uh, configure the uh, public static IP of your company network uh, in the MFA trusted IPs. So we we'll just uh, under manage, we will we'll just go to named locations and then uh, configure MFA trusted IPs. So uh, in this case, I have already, uh, you know, configured the uh, configured my company's network IP over here. Uh, so you can see uh, now, I have already enabled my uh, my company's uh, IP over here, and uh, you just need to click on allow users to create app password to sign into non-browser apps. And these uh, settings you need to uh, you need to remain uh, like keep it as it is uh, default settings. And after only you have to just uh, provide your uh, company's network IP and you need to save save it. So after uh, configuring the multi uh, MFA trusted IPs, we just click on policies. So the second uh, demo in, in the demo uh, page you are, you have already seen. The next step is to create a condition access policy for the same. So I just click on uh, new policy and we need to name this policy. Uh, we can provide any name, I'll just name it as untrusted location enable MFA. So uh, under the untrusted location enable NFA, MFA, multi factor authentication. So the next step will be. Uh, assignments. So first, we need to select the users or group of users uh, for whom we want to uh, enable this conditional access policy. So I'll just we'll just select. So uh, as we have already created a security group, uh, so that so we need to click on select users and group, and then 
click on users and groups and then select here you'll be able to see all the uh, all your user list and the groups li uh, groups list so i'll just select cmfa and then done so we have selected the groups over here now we need to select the applications so you want this uh, conditional access to be enabled for uh, whether for all the services all the cloud applications mentioned over here or for the selected applications so uh, i'll just select over here so suppose i'll just select dynamic crm online so uh, when your crm will be accessed uh, you'll be uh, asked for the mfa from the uh, if it is accessed from uh, outside company network then uh, you know select microsoft teams then exchange online so similarly we can just uh, select uh, from the uh, list of applications which uh, which are over here or else we can just select all the cloud apps so uh, in this case uh, i'll just select all cloud apps i'll just close this one i'll just select all cloud apps and if you want to exclude any cloud apps you can just click on exclude and you can select any uh, applications from here so i just need to include and click on done so i'm i'm enabling this uh, conditional access for uh, all the cloud applications now the next uh, option is conditions so for which device platforms you need to configure this uh, condition access policy so i just click on uh, so configure it yes and then include so i need to include all the platforms so i'll just click on all the platforms all if you can select the platforms like windows uh, mac os windows phone the like that so i'll just select all the platforms and then click on done the next option is which is the main uh, you know uh, we have already uh, provided our ip over there in the mfa trusted ips now we have to include the locations as well so this is the main uh, main conditions which we require to provide because our main agenda is to uh, like you know uh, whenever someone will try to access um, the services from untrusted location it, they will be asked for the mfa so the main agenda is on the locations so we'll just click, click on configure yes and if the users will access it access the application from any locations right so i'll just click on any location and we'll just go to exclude option and over here we'll just select selected locations and we need to select the mfa trusted ips so we have included all the locations but we are excluding the mfa trusted ips which is our co company corporate network so from uh, if anyone accesses uh, the services from the company networks they will not be asked from the for the mfa so i'll just select it i'll just click on uh, done so locations has been selected now for which applications we need to uh, you know configure this uh, condition access policy first of all we just need to click on uh, configure it yes and then for which uh, client applications you want this uh, you want it for browsers or uh, you also want it for the text to plans um, uh, as such so I just click on uh, all the browser and so I just click on uh, everything uh, every option is given over here and just click on done uh, device state if you want to uh, you know enable uh, device state you can enable that as well but uh, it's not required as of uh, as per our you know agenda uh, so i'll just click on so we have selected all the conditions like device device platform locations everything now let's click on done so the next option is access control the first one is grant grant access so what do you want to do you want to block the access so there are two options you want to block the access or you want to grant it grant access for the, those, those users so whenever so if you click on block access whenever a user will try to access services from outside location they will not be allowed to get uh, you know sign in if the access uh, will be blocked so uh, so we require to grant the access but 
they'll uh, they will require to provide the MFA. So I'll just click on grant, grant access and re uh, require multi-factor authentication. And now I just select it. Now, if you want to provide this session, you can do that as well. Uh, but it's not required, so I'll just uh, skip the session so part over here. And the last one is enable the policy. So I'll switch the policy to on and then I'll create the policy. So the policy has been created, you can see this policy over here and you can see the tick mark over here. Uh, so it's enabled, enable status is on. So now our policy has been created. It would take, uh, you know, few minutes uh, for the changes to take effect. So. So as the policy is enabled, uh, let's just try to access uh, services uh, from the company's network first. And let's see what happens. So I'll try with this user. So as we have enabled the MFA, the first time we log in, it will ask for the information. I will show you what it will ask for. It will ask for identity, uh, additional security verification. So I will just provide the, you know, authentication uh, method it will ask for. So we need to provide the uh, phone number and all. And we will click on next. So I just receive a code on my mobile, uh, so 389662. You can create the app password as well if you want. So now, uh, so that uh, like the authentication method is uh, has been provided, I'll just sign it, uh, sign out this user again. Let's try to sign in, sign in this user again. Uh, sign in. So I just close this one uh, once. I just open a new. Uh, So you can see, I have enabled multi-factor authentication, but as I am trying to access uh, this particular uh, user, uh, this particular service from uh, my car internal like, corporate network, it's, it has not, uh, like I have been not, not asked for the MFA. I'm just I'm getting to, uh, you know, option to enter the password. So I'll just enter the password and we'll sign in. So you can see, I've been signed in easily. I have not, uh, like the first time after enabling the multi-factor authentication, you will be asked for the uh, authentication uh, verification and all. Uh, from the next time, you will not be asked. If you are accessing it from, uh, uh, like you will not be asked for the MFA if it's accessing the services from company's network. So now, uh, so now what we will do is, we will just sign out this user. So now we have seen that uh, if the users mentioned in the condition access policy when tries to log in, uh, log in uh, to, the, to the services within the corporate network, uh, so um, the users has not been asked for the uh, multi-factor authentication after entering the password. Uh, so we have seen that. So now the next part.
So now we'll, we uh, will see how uh, for the same user we will try to access the uh, access the services from a different location. Uh, so from a, from a different uh, uh, network actually. So let's see uh, what happens in that case. So for that uh, I need to take I'll take a remote of the other system which has been connected to a different network and then we'll try to log in this particular the same user over there. So for that I'll just connect it. So just connect to a different system. So we have been connected to the system. So just uh, let's just go and try to uh, log in Dynamics 365 and add just enter the URL. So I'll just try to access the uh, uh, Dynamics 365 uh, with the same user uh, but from a different network. So I'll just enter the password once again and now we'll be asked for the multi-factor authentication because this is connected to a different network. that's it. So uh, this is how it works. Uh, whenever a user try to access any services uh, from a from an untrusted location or from a different network, they will be prompted for the multi-factor authentication. So let's give the uh, let's, let's provide the code. And verify it. And we are logged in. And we are logged into uh, Dynamics 365. So this is how it works. So if you have any questions uh, related to this uh, uh, to this session today on uh, on conditional access or uh, uh, the uh, on configuring the conditional access to uh, enabling multi-factor application, if you have any queries related to this session today. You can, uh, you can of course write it down to us. We'll help you. We'll be happy to help you. And uh, yeah, so that's that's it from today's session. And um, so I just uh, so you can see uh, this uh, this we have uh, we have connected to. Uh, so this is has uh, been connected to Dynamics 365. So uh, I'll just close the session now. So we have uh, we have seen how we can uh, configure MFA trusted IPs in Azure Active Directory, and then uh, how we can configure the condition access policy as per the requirements. Uh, then, so that's it uh, from today's session, and uh, this is our Office 365 managed services. If you want more information about it, uh, you can just visit our website, which is uh, www.cloudchain.com/office365migration. And this is what we do uh, in the managed services for Office 365. And yeah, that's it. Uh, you can connect with us on uh, on the LinkedIn, Twitter, and uh, through our YouTube channel uh, if you want to. Uh, the, the webinar recordings are also available on the YouTube channel. Uh, if you have any queries, you can. Uh, of course, email at, email it to us uh, at info at the rate So, uh, thanks for attending this session. Uh, have a good day.